Hi ladies, it's Sarah and I'm here with a tutorial video on making butterflies with fantasy film and um, this is just an example of one that I've made. Um, it's really cute. Um, this right here, I don't know if y'all can see that, but um, it's, um, I used a, what is it called? The um, basil paper flowers and I glimmer misted the paper flower with um, a purple color called popsicle and then I sprayed over that purple color with the Heidi Swap what is it silver sugar I think let me see I don't know if I can find it real quick but oh, what was it called oh I don't know where I put it I think it's the it's whatever the Heidi Swap silver color is it's like silver sugar or sponge sugar or something like that it's a silver color and I'm not exactly sure where I put it, but I believe that's the name. Anyway, um, so I sprayed the white flower, and then I adhered a very large dewdrop, and I made um, a butterfly out of fantasy film, and I adhered it to one of the petals of the flowers. So I'm going to show you how I made the butterfly um, real quick and how I put this all together. Okay? Um, the first thing that I did is I took this stamp. It is a stamp from... Art Institute glitter, and it came from I don't know where it, where I got, bought it from, but that's who makes it. Is Art Institute glitter, and I think it's called Medium Butterfly Stamp. What I did is I took um, I love this ink for stamping on acetate and for um, also using the fantasy film because it doesn't smudge really bad and it, um, it holds up well with the the heat the the temperature and the heat of the uh, uh, iron when I use it. And let's see. I don't know how to turn this back on. Do, do, do. Hang on. I have little technical difficulties. Let me plug that back in. I don't know how to turn my iron back on. There it goes. Okay. Let me heat it back up to the proper setting. Okay. So, now I got my iron heating up. So this is the ink that I use, and what I do is I just um, take this butterfly stamp, and I ink it up real good. Make sure it's all, all covered up, no empty spots. Okay, and then I take what's called fantasy film, and it comes in these little packets, and it comes in a lot of different colors, but this is Mother of Pearl, and this is um, in the forest. This is like a green color, and this is like a iridescent. And you can mix and match colors, too. You can blend them together, but they come in a lot of other colors as well. And I have a couple, but these are just the two I pulled. What you want to do is you want to cut three sheets that go over the butterfly stamp. And so what we'll do is we'll, um, we'll mix and match. We'll use two of the Mother of Pearl and one of in the forest. And you take this and you just stack them on top of each other and you lay them directly on top of the stamp. Okay? Don't move them around after that because you don't want to smudge your ink. After that, you take a piece of um, parchment paper and you can get this at your craft supply stores. I know Michaels carries it because that is where I got it from. And you lay it directly over the stamp in your fantasy film. At that point, you take your iron, and I use the wool silk setting of my iron. It's like a medium-high setting, and you don't want to use a setting that would cause the steam to come out if you have a steam iron. You want it to be dry, dry heat. So, what you do is you just take and you press on top of the stamp. Do not rub it back and forth. You want to lay directly on top of the stamp. You don't want to smudge. You want to lay it for about 10 seconds. You don't want to burn up your stamp, and then you lift it up. And then what I do is I just kind of turn it and just like lay it down for another five seconds. Lift it up again and just I want to make sure I'm getting the, the tips, you know, of the wings. So I, I come to the top here. So I just do it a few times. After that, you lift up your um, uh, parchment paper and you look at it. And you can see that it's adhered. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But if you look carefully, it's it's you can tell that it's all pressed down, okay? At that point, you just go ahead and peel this back very carefully. And then you have your um, inked image on the fantasy film. And 
it's you know not smudging all three layers are melted together okay so then you take that and you're going to want to take some fine tip scissors some little tiny fine tip scissors doesn't matter what brand just as long as it's fine tipped and you can cut very detailed images out and I'm not going to cut for y'all I, I have one that I already cut up and you want to cut it, cut it out very carefully. And so once you cut it out, you're left with this. You have this image here. And what I did at that point was I took, and I'm going to use this now. Again, move the towel out of the way. Um, I took some, uh, where did it go? It's right there. <laughs> here, we'll use this one. Um, some glossy accents. And actually, instead of the glossy accents, I got this sepia accents because nobody likes it because who wants to make their picture orange? I don't know who uses this for what it's really for, but I use sepia accents for glue. If you find a good deal on sepia accents, don't think, ooh, I don't want to use that because it's orange and crazy. It's, it's a great glue, y'all. <laughs> so what I do is I use this as the glue and I go ahead, what time am I at, Dylan? 6-12. Okay. And I just um, go in with this on some of the segments of the wings. I just pick a few of the segments out and just very lightly with the tip, just get some glue in there. And once you get your glue covered on the segments, then you can pick out um, some glitter and make sure that you use um, ultra fine glitter. This is uh, Martha Stewart um, crystal fine. You can use that. I've got some generic glitter in a pot here or um, I think this was um, uh, what is that people that make the flock I can't think of the name something doodle <laughs> anyway um, you can use that too any any ultra fine glitter is fine but I'm gonna go ahead and use this kind right here because I want to use this uh, royal blue and just sprinkle the glitter over you know your glossy accents or sepia accents or any any fast drying clear glue you can use zip dry um, any of the clear glues and once you sprinkle your glitter you want to flip it over just like an embossing powder and just kind of give it a flick with your finger um, if if you have some that's sticking to the wings um, and not on the glue um, you can just take a little paintbrush and very lightly brush the excess glitter off with the paintbrush and that's what I'm doing right here just getting some of this excess off that doesn't belong Okay, and then you have um, some little accents. I don't know if y'all can see um, some glitter accents right there. At that point, you know, I would do the other side of the wing too. And then just like an um, acetate or acrylic, um, you can bend the wings and kind of make them lift up. Just bend them between the body and the wing. And it gives the butterfly some dimension. Okay. So just give it a little pinch, a little bend. Don't overdo it like I'm doing. And there you go. So you've got a butterfly that, that once you adhere the body down, the wings are going to stick up. Okay? At that point, what I did with my butterfly is I took some, some uh, bling. And I took some really tiny, tiny, tiny bling. If you can find the little teeny weeny ones, I found these at Hobby Lobby. They're super duper small. I use those on the very tips of the antennas. And then on the body, I use a little bit bigger. And I just put some glossy accents or CP accents, whatever you want to use, along that. And Because I don't like just the adhesive. They always pop off. So I put extra glue. And I just glued some bling along the body and at the tops of the antennas. And after I was done with that, I took some of the terrifically tacky tape, cut a little strip, separated it from the red side, uh, and rolled it up into a like a log or a long piece, and uh, ran it along the underside of the butterfly, and then I adhered it to one of the petals of the flowers. So I just stuck it on one of these petals right here, and that's it. And then you have a pretty fantasy film butterfly. And it's very beautiful. It catches the light nicely. And you can decorate it in a lot of ways. You can have more glitter than that or whatever. Whatever makes you happy. So that's what I have for today. And um, let's see how I am. I'm going to go ahead and cut this video off. And then I'll be back with um, my son Dylan. He'd like to do a tutorial video on one of his things. So I'll be back with his video. Thanks, guys.